Hello everyone, have a brand new knife for you today. This here is the Kershaw Tumbler, and this version is in red G10. So this particular version of the knife is available from Smoky Mountain Knife Works, and it was an exclusive for them because the original run of the tumbler came in the black G10. And so this particular one I decided to pick up for a couple of reasons. Number one being the color is a little bit different than the original, and I know I have enough of black G10 knives to last me a lifetime. Uh, but not, that being said, too, a lot of Kershaw's recent Chinese designs have left me a little disappointed in overall fit and finish. And I wanted to compare this one because this one comes in at a slightly higher price tag than most of Kershaw's Chinese knives. And so this particular one has a D2 steel blade, uh, three and a quarter inch length. You can see the nice stone wash finish on there. Uh, but when I first opened this knife, the first thing that really struck me was the overall weight because it's a very lightweight knife, very blade heavy because this handle is essentially almost nothing but G10. You know, they did an inlet for the subframe lock there and that's about all the metal you have in the handle. So uh, very lightweight design. The overall weight of this one's about 2.6 ounces. So we can compare that to some other knives in just a minute. Um, but here we have the tumbler, and the action on this knife is actually really nice. They did put bearings in there, so we can see in the pivot, bearings on this knife, very, very slick action. It is literally a false shut action, and so for this price point to have that type of action on the knife is pretty impressive. You know, this is definitely one you want to watch your fingers and keep them out of the way of that falling blade. But I was impressed with that action out of the box. Um, so taking a look at the details of the knife, we see in the handle, um, we have a deep carry pocket clip, very plain, very simple, which I like. It does look like it is reversible for right or left hand tip up. So just the design of that pocket clip probably means you could switch it over if you chose to. So that's one thing to notice. Um, we do have a lanyard hole in there. Um, nice wide lanyard hole for those of you who actually use one. Um, and again, the pivot on the show side has no Torx bit on it, so hopefully it will not spin if you decide to take it apart, um, whereas this side has the Torx bit. Um, it does use the sub frame lock action, and so since there's a sub frame lock, there's not a whole lot of metal in that handle, so it's, again, very lightweight. Um, but it does actually feel really nice in the hand. So the blade shape is one of the things that drew me to it, you know, very much one of those um, Sinkovich design characteristics, very upswept blade. Looks almost very Persian in style, <clears throat> but it reminded me of some other Kershaws that I have. Um, and again, I can compare one really quickly right here. Uh, this is the Kershaw Bare Knuckle. And so this again, sub frame lock, upswept blade. This one was one of their US produced knives. And so we can see a side by side comparison here. It's a little bit smaller. Um, and the tumbler itself, it's a mid-sized knife. It's not a small knife, you know, by any means. The blade feels very large for the size of the handle. Uh, and for the weight, the blade feels very large. Uh, but you can see it right here next to the bare knuckle, um, as well as what I always like to pull out on my videos is the blur, just as a standard comparison option there. So you can see, again, smaller than the blur, smaller than the bare knuckle. It's not a big knife, but it's also not a small knife either. So three and a quarter inch blade there. Um, it feels like it's bigger than that, though, in your hand when you're using it. But comparing it to these other knives, it definitely looks a little smaller. Um, so weight-wise, though, we can see this one, like I said, is about 2.6 ounces. Yeah, 2.67 ounces, and that's pretty much what they advertised it as, so that was accurate. Um, whereas with the blur, we usually get a little over 3, so 3.4, 3.8, and then... The bare knuckle is also a bit heavier, and those are both metal construction, metal handled knives, so 3.5 here. Um, so we're getting a little bit more weight on these two knives in general, um, and that's understandable. But that being said, for 2.6 ounces, you are getting a heck of a cutter here. Um, you can see the blade stock is not exactly thin either. You know, it tapers toward the tip, but it's a wide, beefy blade. Um, feels good in the hand. I don't have big hands, but I can still get a full grip on the handle. Really good blade to handle ratio. You can see it just it's a big blade for this size of knife. Um, action, like I said, is really nice. This particular one, like I said, this is the Tumbler Red, the 
4038RD. And I think the only place you're going to get this color is Smoky Mountain Knife Works. And it's surprising, I haven't really seen very many color variants of this knife available besides the plain black and this red one here. Uh, so I wonder if it's not selling as well as some of their other knives. And it could be the price. You know, a lot of people who are buying a Kershaw, if they're going to buy a cheapy Chinese knife, they're not going to buy this one because, again, it costs more than your average Walmart Kershaw does. Um, and with in this price range, you're starting to get into the range where you could uh, you could optionally buy a Kershaw Blur for the same or less money. And the Blur is a U.S. made knife. So this knife is really made for a select group of users. And I think the people who want this knife, who are going to buy this knife, are Kershaw fans, are knife fans, knife collectors, people who recognize the design and want the design. Um, because the average Joe who just wants a working knife and might prefer something made in the U.S. can get one of those knives for the same price as this one here. Luckily, recently they went on sale at Smoky Mountain Knife Works, so I was able to get this one for less than the advertised price. And the price is probably going to fluctuate on it now that it's been out for a while. Um, so definitely if you have one in your interest, then by all means go to their website and check out the price. Um, don't be in a rush to buy it because it might go on sale again. Um, but they definitely had some sign of kind of an after Christmas sale and it was definitely worth picking up at that price. Um, so this one I don't regret buying and overall there's not too many flaws with it. The only issue I could really, you know, nitpick on this one is, uh, when the knife is in the closed position, of course the detent keeps the blade in, there's no issue there, but when you have it closed there, the, um, detent ball, you can see there's a little bit of play back and forth. And that's really nitpicking again. You know, is anyone else going to really notice that? No. But me having a lot of knives, knowing what I'm looking for, that particular play is very obvious. And I think the reason for that is when we look at the detent hole, you can see it's rather than round shaped, it's kind of teardrop shaped. I don't know if it's supposed to be like that, but I think that teardrop shape is leading to some excess play. And so if that was a perfectly round hole there, I think it would hold very tight but since it has that little teardrop it gets a little bit of wiggle and uh, that being said it doesn't really detract because it's not like the blade comes up enough to expose the edge that definitely doesn't happen um, but beyond that there's really nothing else I can complain about with this knife and so I have been burnt on a lot of the Kershaw Chinese production knives I think that they are generally not a good buy because Kershaw just kind of floods the market with that junk um, I mean, go to Walmart, go to a big box store and look at the Kershaw's. Chances are you're going to find some stainless steel handled, you know, slab with a blade in it, usually with the assisted opening, usually with three CR 13 steel or eight CR if you're lucky. They have so much of that junk on the market and it's all so similar to each other that I think they're diluting their own brand. Um, if they're going to produce in China, this is more what they should be reaching for. And if this is too much to handle, by all means, stick to the USA made Kershaws because those are all quality as you see them. Um, but that being said, I wanted just to show this particular variant of the knife off. And you know if you buy it, you're going to enjoy this knife. There's really no major issues with it. Um, construction was well made, lightweight, very deep carry. Um, I could imagine this pleasing a lot of people. And again, I don't see red G10 very often on knives in the market. I know they are out there, of course, but it's, red G10 is probably one of the least used colors, I would say. Um, so it's nice to get one here on sale. And of course, it's the Christmas season, so I wanted to pick it up for that reason too. Um, but again, if you have any questions about this knife, the tumbler, or if you want to see it compared to anything else, uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below. Just wanted to share my story here with you all. But other than that, have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.